TV, I am your host, Gary Bay, Nerd Chuck. And this, my friends, is The Thunder Show, AKA the internet's most passionate wine program. And we are here live in Webster Hall with a rowdy, rowdy, and bowdy, bowdy group of people. Let's give it up. So, big shout out, first and foremost, I would never be here without Cornelius and Smoke from Web 2.0. Let's give them a little bit of a shout out. They're not that good, just a little. Solid. And I also want to say that I'm well on my way tomorrow morning to San Diego. My New York Jets, this Monday night football, will be beating in the lowly, lowly bolts. Boo San Diego. All right, let's get into the vino. Mott, you've got to have some serious zoom in skills. The first wine we're looking at is the Vermonte 2006 Reserve of Pinot Noir. This rolls in at 17 US bones and comes from an area that I think is highly on the scene right now from Casablanca. 17 bones, Casablanca Pinot. Let's see what it's got. Let's give this wine a sniffy sniff. The first thing I get on the nose, there's a little bit of like rain insect spray coming across on the nose. It's actually quite heavy. This has a very serious insect repellent on the nose. But you know what? I kind of like it. I get a little cedar and there's a little hit of raspberry on the back end. It's a very complicated nose. There's also a little bit of like an evergreen forest floor type action coming across. Let's give it a whirl. Solid tannins coming through, good fruit, nice mid palate. It tastes a heck of a lot better than it smells. And that's a nice thing, because we, after all, we do drink this stuff. That being said, quite dry. I see this wine being a three to five year cellaring wine. It's opening up nicely now. I think if you open this wine for four to six hours of decanting, I think you'll get a whole lot more out of it. At 17 bones, I would call it a push. You know what I mean? It's not great, but it's definitely not breaking my heart. So overall, it's a solid effort. I think it falls exactly where it needs to fall. If it was 18 bones, I'd probably be disgusted. 16, I'd be pumped. So I think it's doing exactly what it's supposed to. A solid effort. I'm gonna score 88 points. I don't think it quite makes up to the 90 point level, but it's a solid effort. Once again shows that Chile, especially this Casablanca area, has potential, and I'd like to see it evolve over the next couple years. Let's move on. Little rinse. What we have here bought is the Chris Donatello 2006 Russian River Pinot Noir. Big shout out to them, are they here? Uh-huh. 48 US bones. They're not bullshit. that's a lot of money. Let's give it a whirl. But first, a snippy snip. Now this wine is barrel aged for 10 months. 100% French oak, 40% new. Give it one more sniff. I get a really nice candied strawberry component coming through on the nose. There's also a little bit of like a rubber band action and also almost like a He-Man action figure throwback like Skeletor, battle armor style. Remember you touched the truck? Remember that? Punch chest. It changed. Let me smell it. Also a little coffee action and just a hint of mocha so you can pay four bones for it at Starbucks. Let's give it a whirl. Pretty damn solid. Let me taste it one more time before I give it too good of a score. Pass the bottles. Here you go. Pass it. I want people to try it. You gotta always share the wealth. Um, a very complete Pinot Noir with massive structure and a huge backbone. This wine is dominated by rasp. Berries, and I like it. 
I, I'm very fond of the finish. It's quite long. There's a little bit of like a creme brulee action going on on the back end, which I like quite a bit as well. Ultimately, at a $48 price point, this is serious bank to drop on a bottle of Pinot. However, this wine delivers. To me, this is a 90 plus point effort. It's very solid, almost Burgundian-like on its approach in the back end with a little bit of like a, you know, a cow manure, a little sheep butts exploding in my mouth. It's kind of nice, it's got the earthiness, a little throwback old world. Overall, a very solid wine, three to five years celery, and I think this baby is gonna be primed, kicking some serious face. Let's move on. Finally, full crumb. Fulcrum Pinot Noir from Anderson Valley, which by the way, if you listen to one thing tonight, pay attention. Anderson Valley Pinot Noirs are exploding. Try them, expand your palate. They are awesome wines. Anyways, this wine rolls in at 52 US dollars. And when I see 52, I think of Pepper Johnson, former giant, former jet. Let's give it a snippy snip and a word. But I think I hate Pepper Johnson now because he's a coach for the dirty, dirty Patriots. Boo! Eagles. Eagles. Let's give this a snippy snip. Now this is a classic Pinot Noir nose. There is really some intense strawberry bubblegum action. Almost like strawberry flavored big leaf chew exploding in my nose piece. Let me give it a little more. I also get like road brush. You know like when you really have to pee and you pull over on the side of the road and you go in the woods and you try to get out of the way and you smell like the ground because there's like garbage there, there's a little dirt, it's a little forest. I get a little bit of that action coming through on the nose which is quite intriguing. Coming along with the Big League Chew Strawberry, it's quite an interesting combo. Let's give it a whirl. A very big wine. I'm a little bit concerned of the mid palate. I'm not loving the transition from the early Burgundian type flavors to this fruit bomb action I get on the back end. A little hollow, no mid pot. I meant to say plot. You know, so, you know, it's, it's solid. It's a very good Pinot Noir. It's a little young. I think the tannins are quite firm on the back end. So, you know, four, seven, maybe even pushing a decade from now, it'd be nice to see where this wine goes. Overall, the flavors are quite focused and excellent and bright and solid, but I'm a little bit bored up in here with this wine. I'm sorry, it's just a little boring, and more importantly, there's a lot of Pinot Noir that I'm excited about in that $25 to $35 price range that rival this effort. It's not horrible, and don't forget, who gives a crap what I say? Trust your own palate. Don't listen to me, spectator, Parker, Tanzer, Israeli, Robinson, don't listen to a darn soul. Listen to yourself, drink what you like, but make me one promise. Stop drinking Pinot Grigio every night. Or Pinot. Or Cab. Try new stuff. I'll score this wine 87 points and I'll give it a pass with four Z's. Question of the day. Have you ever been this honored to have this many rad peeps pay attention to what you do? Because you, with a little bit of me, we're changing the wine world, whether they like it or not.